it's Kix here and I'm back to do another tutorial. Wait, 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 wait. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, and Twitter at Kix Curls, I need you to do that right now. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell so you can get all the alerts moving forward. Now we can get back into the video, okay? Today we're gonna do like a little bun with some bangs. I'm gonna use my one curler. I've never done this style before, so I'm actually experimenting and we'll see how it comes out. If you'd like to see how this comes out, keep watching. Okay, so y'all excuse this lighting, but first we're going to start off with the Tresemme Thermals Creations Heat Protectant. Then you're going to need your curl wand, your hair scrunchie, make sure it's a big like elastic one. You're going to need some hair pins, girl, get you some hair pins. Eco Styler Gel. Here I have some water, I just add a little bit of conditioner to it. I use this pick instead of a comb. I feel like it helps with detangling more. You're gonna need a brush, a toothbrush for those baby hairs, okay? Some clips to hold your hair in place, and let's get started. So excuse me right now because I look type crazy looking like Kodak Black or something. But <laughs> I'm just gonna untwist this because I stretch my hair overnight. I'm going to detangle it a little bit at that section and you know, spray a little bit of water with the conditioner. And yeah, we're just gonna comb it out. You're gonna leave the first section intact because you wanna use that part for your bangs. I feel like the pick is gonna be my go-to tool for detangling now, but here I am looking like I am every woman. <laughs> of course, and um, now I'm just gonna spray the perimeter of my hair, get it all saturated, and then I'm gonna brush that through. And then I'm gonna add some gel, okay? Um, you'll see me spraying my brush. I do that often so the bristles become softer. So, yeah. Now, when it comes to this gel, girl, okay, you're going to go in, okay, because you want this bun laid, slicked down, okay? So, don't, don't be stingy with the gel. <laughs> you're going to slather that on, you know, put it in around the perimeter of your hair, and then brush it up. Now it took me a minute, but the smart thing I learned to do when it comes to having thick hair like this is you take a little scrunchie and you put your hair in a scrunchie so it's easy for you to take the big scrunchie and put it over it instead of, you know, wrestling with putting the big scrunchie over your hair, if that makes sense. So here I am just brushing it because, you know, me struggling and I messed up the whole, like, you know, the laid aspect of my hair. So I'm just adding more gel and I brushed it. So now I'm gonna take the big scrunchie and now it's easier for me to put it, like double it and put it over my hair because my hair is in the small scrunchie, okay? Now that everything's all smooth, you're gonna take the small scrunchie out of your hair, and now we're gonna construct the actual bun. So what you're going to do is take one part of the scrunchie, and you're going to twist it. So as you're pulling it, it's going to tighten, and you're gonna pull this section that you just took, and pull it from the back to the front of your puff. Sorry, my camera was all out of focus. It was messing with me this whole day, but as you pull it up, you just tuck it in and you know, play around with it. And then from here, you're going to form your bun and just pin it. See how it looks like a little bun? It looks like a little bun, it's so cute. Y'all don't understand how, like it took me years to be able to get my hair into a bun because my hair cannot fit in regular size scrunchies. Like they always pop. And I just didn't know, I didn't think to do it this way, but I'm so happy I did because now I'm bun mommy for life. It's my new go-to lazy hairstyle. But yeah, here I am taking the pins and I'm just pulling the hair, fixing the hair to make it look neater. I'm just gonna pin it around. Now 
Yes, honey, now that the pins are in, you're gonna take the front section that you sectioned off for your bangs and detangle it with the pick or the comb, whatever you're using. And then we're going to take the heat protectant and spray that on our hair. Now I'm gonna take my wand curler and I'm going to set it to 360 degrees. Um, I feel like this was a little bit too high. I definitely think I could have used 330. Um, in the video, you'll kind of see the hair on my hair smoking, but that is from the heat protectant. That is not my hair burning, okay? I didn't get any heat damage, so y'all are okay. I'll be looking at this video like, girl, your hair is burning. It wasn't. Look, I'm hang time mommy. You see that? Hang time mommy, okay? <laughs> now you're just gonna wrap the hair around the wand curler and just let it sit for a couple of seconds until it forms a curl count about 20 seconds it should be gucci and then you release it slowly like that look at that look at that curl come on keeks come on keeks curls yes girl with that wand curl okay yes now it's too hype it's too hype Okay, you're just going to continue to do the same thing for the rest of your bang until it's all done. Y'all, this style is so cute, like... I know it's gonna come out cute. I just wasn't expecting it to come out this cute, but girl, y'all better try this and let me know how it comes out. So here, I'm just taking the pick and I'm just giving it more definition, you know, fluffing it up, going through each curl. I'm trying to see how I want it to be. If I want it to just be all in my face or if I want it to be to the side. So I'm just teasing it. Just keep teasing until you like it, okay? Then you're going to take a pin and pin it up. My hair is too long for it just to just like lay in my face like this. You see I was just covering my eyes. So I took a pin and I just pinned it up a little bit so it wouldn't fall directly, you know, covering my eyes. And you're gonna continue to play with this, okay, until you like it. Um, I felt like it was too puffy at the top, which is why I took more pins and just, you know, pinned the hair down until I fell in love with it. So this is the outcome. And I was feeling myself like, look at this, okay? Now I'm gonna take my toothbrush, spray it with some of the water, get some gel, and lay these baby hairs because you want to look completely polished. And voila! <laughs> Look at the cutie girl! Yes, honey, work with your banging buns, okay? Get it, get it. Ay, ay, okay, okay. Hey, dab on them, dab on them. <laughs> No, I had way too much fun with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This look is so cute. It's cute for a date night, or if you just wanna get cute for yourself, play around with your hair, guys. Okay, cutie girls, this concludes this tutorial. Please like, comment, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and comment and let me know what other looks you guys would like to see. Love y'all.